Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I just wanted to come on here for a quick minute. Uh, I do want to share a video. Wait a minute, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, I should have had it already pulled up. See, I'm not thinking straight. Oh, gee, I lost some more subscribers. It's either the rapture date setting or it's about the once saved, always saved. I know it is. I, people get so sensitive about that, but I am so more convinced than ever now about 717 and before you brothers and sisters i want to quickly share something about okay, christine this is a whole nother channel called speaking truth in love she felt led to put up a video real quick because she had it in her mind that she needed to but she needed to get her kids to bed and everything so she had things to do moms are like that you know but yet still trying to follow what's going on and everything. So she's about to tell you she wanted to share Christine's timeline on the dual Passover time night timeline. Now, folks, this is very, uh, what is I said interesting on one other channel and someone corrected me and said, no, this is not interesting. It's like way more than that, you know, and this is the same way. And I'm like, yeah, why isn't anybody teaching on this? That John's gospel is so much different than the other three. Why did the other three say Jesus was crucified at one time in the day? But John's gospel is clear that he died at a later time of the day. And that it was about to be Passover. Not that they already had Passover. Jesus had to be the Passover lamb. So see, whatever supper they were eating that they that we all call the Last Supper, that wasn't the Passover. And I, I, I can't explain it, but um, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, um, I've been doing a lot more on the computer lately because of the hour we're in and I'm praying I'm praying for more strength and for my brain to be able to handle it. But right now it can't. So I'm, I'm having to delete a lot of my email. I am trying to keep up with comments. And I know I've said this before, but it's just a fact of my brain is limited. Anyway, but I thought I'd get on here and tell y'all I'm reading your comments. And I may be reading your email. But, it, you know, if it's like just a link to a video, I might click on it, see who's doing it. Either it's going in to watch later or I'm deleting it. There are some that sound so intriguing and I want to watch them. But I can't just sit here and watch videos and do nothing else. So, please try to understand that. But this video, the channel is called Speaking Truth in Love. In case you can't get the link. It's called Rapture Signs 717, July 17. And with, lo and behold, when she was recording this, or went to record it, she looks at the clock, and guess what time it was? 717. And she shows it on here. She turned her camera or took a screenshot or... However it is she's making hers. I don't know how to do this. Like to show this timeline. And then show a screenshot I took. And then go back. To, I don't know how to do this. I wish I did. I believe it would be more helpful to you. But anyway. I'm doing the best I can. And I lead you to places that do this. So anyway. I love you all. And I just wanted to say. Give it some credence before you completely, you know, blow it off. Even though we've heard date setting before, this is something's different about this. I just feel it in my heart. And if that makes you want to unsubscribe, well, I'm sorry because I, I can't not share it because I, I've gotten 717, okay? Before all this came out, as others have too. Okay.
I'm going to say bye for now. I will plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you and all your devices too so we can stay connected. Keep fighting the enemy. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You keep remembering that and this. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You keep saying your Psalm 91 or now Psalm 121 or both if you have to. No fear. Fear is not of the Lord. Okay? Things are just seem to be almost like dominoes tumbling or something. As somebody put it, that the dominoes are lined up and ready to fall. I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot happening. And now we're less than four weeks away from July 17th. And I think people are being attacked. What happened to me last night might have been an attack. But I do know that when I overdo it. And really all I'm doing is staying on the computer if I'm not praying. I read the scripture on, the, on here usually. Sometimes I use my Bible book. But maybe I should just do that from now on and when I read the Bible don't use the computer that that would help but anyway I know y'all keep me in your prayers already so I don't need to say that and I, I keep you in my prayers at night I plead the blood of Jesus over you all well I've told y'all what I say and so with that I'm going to let you go um, be blessed be at peace love one another and forgive anyone who's hurt you ever. All right? Keep God number one. And let us all be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. Okay, that's Luke 21, 36. All right, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.